Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today I thought I'd talk about ways to stop dyslexia making you feel a little sad because I know that when I I first like realised I had dyslexia but hadn't been tested for it, I felt really alone basically. Sorry, my feet is cold. My feet is cold. My foot is cold. Um, I felt quite alone. I didn't really have anyone to talk to about why I couldn't read and every time I tried people would laugh at me and I felt really embarrassed and there was words that everyone else knew how to read and I just couldn't and it made me feel real stupid and it, I think that hopefully this will help you guys feel less sad. Just watch. Hopefully it helps you a little bit. If it does, I'd love to know with a like. Subscribe if you want to watch more. I continue to watch, obviously, if you'd actually be interested in watching this video. If not, click off. Bye. Okay, this is one that doesn't make you feel better at the time, but it will do in the end. Continue to read and continue to try. Really, please just do it. Like, Oh, I found it so hard to read and I can remember very vividly trying to read and people laughing at me and my sister calling me stupid and all I wanted to do was give up and not try to read and I feel that is not the way to do it because yes, giving up was a lot easier but also if, I'd, if my mum had let me give up when I was younger, then I'd never be where I am now. I'd never be able to get into uni. So I feel like I know it's hard and I know it's horrible. But you just have to get through it. You just have to force yourself into doing these horrible things. Because, what is the saying that I've seen? Nothing good comes out of being in the comfort zone. Good things come from challenging you. I don't know if that's the quote, but basically that's what they get in at. You know, I'll try and put the actual quote on the page for you guys to read. Yeah, you need to do things that challenge you, and I know it's difficult, and you're not going to want to do it, but do it, please, just try, continue. You can do it. Um, this is also one that's easier... This is also one that's easier saying from future me, like younger me would have been like, boo, it's easy for you, you haven't dealt with it. Um, but yeah, um, don't let people judge you and don't let bullies define who you are. Um, yes, lots of people laughed at me because I couldn't read, so at one point I refused to read in my class because it was embarrassing, and yeah, I feel like if I'd just put a bit more effort and thought, like, just thought to myself, like, F the bullies, they mean nothing. And, like, think in, like, what happens in the future. I'm not gonna let you. This one girl laughed at me for reading every effing week, right? And it really bugged me. And I hated her. And then, looking back now, I had a higher English mark than her. And she made me feel like the whole time through my English class. So just ignore the bullies. Because they li they're literally only doing it from their own insecurities. The only reason that she ever picked on me for reading was because she knew she was going to fail. Maybe that wasn't why she did it. But subconsciously, that's why she did it. Because she was going to fail. And I somehow passed. And you know, oh well. Wow. So just, you know, don't give the bullies what they want. Just hold your head up and read, even if it is hard. Maybe not actually read because, you know, I, at some point I was given the chance to actually not have to read in class, which was nice enough. Um, but, you know, read to yourself. Make sure you continue because, yeah, that one kind of linked in with the last one. Anyway, I'll, I'll skip on to the next one. Um, I spent a lot of my childhood being ashamed of being dyslexic. I've mentioned this before, um, but 
There's also some benefits of being dyslexic. I also have a whole video on it. I will link it up there. I believe it's that side. Um, yes, there are benefits to being dyslexic and some people might not understand those benefits, but that doesn't make you any less of a intelligent person. You really can do anything if you put your mind to it. You can do most things if you put your mind to it. You know, I feel you just need to... What is this content about what I was going at? Yeah, you need to like stop being ashamed of who you are. It's, that's where I am. I am dyslexic. I cannot read very well and still like if I meet new people I will not say I'm dyslexic and I've, I've said this before in a video so James before he knew I was dyslexic his mother used to try and get me to read these these stupid sayings they were literally just things that made her laugh but if I just said earlier on like I, I really cannot read I'm dyslexic maybe they would have just stopped making me read them you know I should have just come forward and said I don't want to read I'm dyslexic, don't make me read it. You know, instead of pretending that I could read and then feeling like shit. Find out the best way that you learn. So all the way growing up, people said to me, the best way for you to learn is via a mind via via a mind map. Through a mind map or brainstorm or whatever it is called. Whereas the you know the big bubble in the middle say like dyslexia and you have little things sprouting off. People have always said that that is the best way for me to learn but that ain't because me trying to create one of those things <sighs> stressful. I cannot do it. Don't know what it is. Drives me insane. Can't do it. Cannot do it. No. So um, I found a different way which is literally just sitting and doing past papers. That's the way I learn best. I literally just do pass paper after pass paper after pass paper. I put little notes in my phone and literally just ask me a question and then I'll have down the bullet points. Um, yeah, and this this works in most exams realistically. Like fair enough, there's some way it's more of a theory, you need to put it into context, but like if they ask like, like with law, take that as an example, um, they, there's only a certain way it can go. If they're asking you about one topic, there's only certain things they can ask you about. And with maths, there's a formula that you have. And with English, there's themes, you know? As long as you know those, those things in detail, you can't go wrong. For me, anyway, that's how I learn. Other people, not so much. Mine, yes. I think I have a video on that, um, on the apps I use for studying. I'm not sure. I will look and look below if I do. And last but not least, um, remember how far you've come. Like, if... Now, looking back, if you told 15-year-old me that I would be in uni, actually passing my exams, including doing a 2,000 word essay, I'd be like, no I'm not. There's no chance I could write that essay because I can't write and I can't read and I'd never get to uni. That was it. That was my mindset at the time. But also, if 15 year old me could go back and talk to 10 year old me and say, you know, you're, you're going to be doing good in school. You're actually going to be able to pass all your exams. You know, 10 year old me would be like, no, I'm, I'm not be able to because I can't read, <laughs> so I'm not meant to pass all my exams. But somehow, you know, you do it. So just think, like, you've come a far way. It's not something easy to do, obviously. Good things don't come to those people that get it easy. No, definitely not so. James always says, like, if, if a degree was easy, everyone would have one, which is true. If accounting was easy, everyone would be an accountant. But it's not. And same with being a lawyer or, you know, other like jobs that you have to go to uni. You don't have to, but you know, jobs with uni is part of the syllabus really. Yeah. So that is it. Um that is my 
five things not to let dyslexia get you down. So, should we just quickly recap? I'll have my phone in my lap so you can see it. Okay, keep doing the hard tasks because you they all mount up in the end, it's good for you. Don't let bullies or other people judge you, F them, you're better than them. Um, don't feel ashamed of being dyslexic. You wouldn't be ashamed of, I don't know, having ADHD, so why be ashamed of dyslexia? It's all the same, you can't control it. Um, find your best learning method and stick to it, no matter what people say. Um, and remember how far you've come, because you, as long as you are con constantly improving, you are always better than you were yesterday. Yeah, bitches. That is this week's video. I, cry for, I don't know, I feel like that was a good video. Please let me know if you think this was a relatively good video with a like. Um, next week, I thought, as is the end of the month, we would round off with saying a bunch of people that have a bunch of celebrities that have dyslexia and a bunch of people that have dysle dyspraxia. Um, I know a lot of... There's a lot of news about people like celebrities with dyslexia, so I thought I'd also check in some people with dyspraxia to mix it up a bit. Um, yeah, that'll be up next week. If you want to see that, then subscribe. As I said, don't forget to like if you actually like this video. And I'd also love if you could comment below telling me what you'd like to see in November. Because I, you know, planned all of October out to be against, against, to be in the theme of dyslexia and dyspraxia. I can do more dyslexia and dyspraxia. I can do whatever you fancy, really. Just let me know below in the comments um, if you watch regularly obviously it makes more sense for you to just tell me what you want to watch instead of me putting up a video that i think you would want to watch and then it turns out you don't and then you watch it for nothing or you kind of half watch it and, you know so yeah tell me what you'd like to watch i'd love to know that's the end of the video i will put things up for you to watch other videos or to subscribe here see you next week bye